And welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm Bumpix, and let's enter the mysterious UFO. It's not actually that mysterious, but what it does have is this thing. Whee! Low gravity. It's simultaneously neat and annoying. You fall very slowly, and you can't even ground pound. Well, you can, but it doesn't do much. So grabbing enemies makes you launch upwards. Which I guess is cool. And it has this music. I like this music. And I can't grab downwards, but off this way... ...is the communicator. Man, charges are so high now. Used to be able to talk to aliens for nothing. But then the economy went to crap. I can't even talk to Mars now, jeez. Sounds so sad when you turn on the gravity. Like, all. And more electric yarn! I don't know what purpose this serves, but it's there. You, stop it. You get nifty little lights on these platforms. I don't know what the lights mean, but they're nifty. Yes, it looks like they show when they're moving and when they're stopped, but I don't need lights to tell that. Careful here, you can launch yourself into the zapping. And you don't want to launch yourself into the zapping. Unless you're some kind of masochist. Looks like the paneling isn't finished. You can see the wires. Launch myself up. I'm just gonna pop that again. And up this way is a buttload of bees. Kind of blend in with the background. Just grab some beads. Grabbing beads. Stay here and grab all these if you want. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of them and then go away. Because the other beads called me names. That and it takes too much time. Come on. Come on. Grab, grab a thing. There we go. And that thing! Exclamation point! Pull that. Pull it once more. No, no zapping. Only I am allowed to zap, and I can't even zap in this game. You know what that means? It means nobody gets to zap. And we get space food. Except it's a replica, I guess. Not that Kirby cares. He'll eat it all the same. Go on, stop these first. Yoink on that. I wonder how much power this costs. Look at how much energy it takes to do this. Slow motion jumping, platforming stuff. And that guy's just walking around. Look at him, he's just walking around and I kill him. This is horrible. Horrible for him, not for me. I mean, I don't really care, but, you know. Those corners just spinning around with their wide eyes. They've seen some horrible stuff. They've been through some stuff, man. Things we can't even comprehend. That's not what I wanted to do. Synchronized zapping. There we go. That 
That's how you don't screw up. And we get Space Lance music. Which sounds kind of weird. Actually. We have some of these weird beads just floating there for no reason. It's the spinning room of destiny. Oh, that didn't exactly take me anywhere. I know I got beads out of it, but I could have not wasted that time. Just gone somewhere else. Does this take me any place interesting? Nope. At least not yet. Wow, I am not wasting time at all! Yoink. You know, it'd be better if I could just pull it once and then go immediately where I wanted to go. But no. I should have saw that coming. Of course it would have done that. That's how you do it. That's how you don't fail. Don't be like me, unless you're being like me on that last time. Actually, you know what? I want you. Probably could have done this earlier, but I chose not to. Because that's how I work. And now, one last time. Okay, two last times. I lied. But what's not a lie is the end of the level. I got a gold star. Twinkling star. And with this twinkling star, opens up Stellar Way, which I'll be doing next time on Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm Buppix, I'll see you in the stars. Bye!